All right, let's look at the bead box in a couple other different ways. We can think about it as a one liner. We can double up that liner and include our diminished chord, or we can box it off. Okay, we find our root, we box it off, we box these out because they're not going to be used in our scale, and it gives us A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Now we can take that box and we can move it anywhere and keep that same pattern. And so now we're in the key of D flat. Our diminished is going to be C, E flat, G flat. Okay. Now that's looking at as if we we're to write a book, but now we're playing guitar. So it's going to change a little bit. We're going to have to start here on the bottom left and work our way up and to the right. If you're a lefty, then you start at the bottom right and you work your way to the left and up. Okay. So your root is going to be here in your box. For righties, it's going to be down here. If you're writing it on paper, like a book, then it's going to be in the upper right corner. Okay. If you like to write from right to left, well, then where are we going to be? We're going to be in the top left corner. Okay. So that covers all the corners of the box, all your perceptions. So that'll work. Take that concept, shift that box around, make sure that when you write this, you write it out big enough so you can shift it around. Okay. <clears throat> now, if you write it all the way out like this, now you have the key of C. Okay. So we can do that for each line coming down and then we write it out just far enough so that here's our run here then we can start here and we can do a run there. And then what I should do is have another letter there. And so then I can start at A and run down. So then I just did all the notes in the key of B, the key of E, and the key of A. All right? Now, the cool thing about this is, too, if we're looking at it, we'll come up here and do it this way. We know that our minor leads to our major. Our minor leads to our major. Our minor leads to our major, and so on. And that's the progression of the circle of fifths with with our diminished here, okay? So what we also have, too, is we know that if we come this way, we get whole steps. D flat, E flat, F, G, A, B, D flat, E, F, okay? So that's coming from here to here. But what if we go here to here? That's our half step, okay? So we're gonna do a whole step, a half step, a whole step, a half step, a whole step, a half step, whole, and so on. That gives us our diminished scale coming across, okay? So you'll have to transpose that for whatever corner of the box you're going to be working in, all right? Just another one to round up the bead box. Um, again, peace, love, stay strong. Cut nine out.